something that would have some existence independently of being known. You see, to say it might be that we would know it, but it did not require that we know it yeah. in order to exist. Yeah. Now, I tried to get some idea of what might be the process which was implied by the mathematics of the quantum theory. And this process is what I call enfoldment, that the mathematics itself suggests a movement in which everything, in which any particular element of space ha may have a field which unfolds into the whole, and, and, and the whole folds and enfolds into it. Right? So you have this movement, and uh, I call this the implicate or enfolded order, which unfolds into the explicate order where everything is separate. Now the implicate order, everything is internally related to everything. Everything contains everything, right? So everybody has a, many experiences of this implicate order. The most obvious one is ordinary consciousness, where consciousness enfolds everything that you know or see, right? Uh, so you're not acting me mechanistically in the sense of being pushed and pulled by objects in the surroundings, <laughs> but rather according to your consciousness of them, you act. Uh, so the consciousness is really our most immediate uh, experience of, of this implicate order. And you might think of nets of consciousness that are finer and finer or we may think of capturing finer and finer aspects of the implicate order. Right? I think there's an, an intelligence that's, uh, Im that's Im implicit there, you see, to say uh, that uh, a kind of intelligence unfolds. Right? The source of intelligence is not necessarily in the brain, you see, uh, the ultimate source, all the, but uh, much more uh, enfolded into the whole. Right? Now, uh, the question of whether you want to call it God, that depends on what you mean by the word, you see, because uh, uh, taking it as a personal God might restrict it in some way.